President Mike Pence arrived in Las Vegas on Saturday, where gunman Stephen Paddock opened fire on people attending a country music concert last Sunday. 58 people were killed and nearly 500 injured. Well, the vice president joined the mayor at an event to help launch the community healing. He spoke about the importance of having hope, even as this country is still in mourning. Authorities say they still do not know what caused everyday causes. Americans whose heroic actions in the face of unspeakable evil inspired the nation. Among the heroes, known and unknown, a mom who shielded her four-year-old daughter with her own body, a father who helped guide others to safety even though he'd been shot not once but twice. Well, in the wake of this shooting in Las Vegas, Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe says he will introduce new gun safety legislation. McAuliffe says he's directed the public safety team in Virginia to draft and introduce a measure next year for the General Assembly that would ban assault weapons, bump stock devices, in high-capacity magazines. Which leads us to the debate taking place on gun po policy. A key element being discussed is outlawing bump stocks, a firearm accessory the Vegas gunman used, which essentially turns a semi-automatic weapon into an automatic weapon. There appears to be a bipartisan discussion at this point. I don't know if we'll get to the point of calling it support just yet. But joining us this morning to talk about this, Chris Brown, the co-president of the Brady campaign and a familiar face here, Corey Stewart, the chairman of the Prince William County Board of Supervisors and also a candidate for the United States Senate. We appreciate it. My pleasure. All Thanks right. Um, let's start with the news this week that the NRA comes out and says that they want to look. They didn't come out to ban them, but they said they want to look at this issue of bump stocks. It's a good move, at least in changing the rigid nature of both sides on this debate? Yes, I think it is a good move. I think it's a start. We know that um, having just come back from Vegas myself and talked to a lot of the survivors there, uh, whether you're a gun owner or you're not a gun owner, if you attended that concert, the bullets were coming at you indiscriminately because of the easy access that individuals in our country have to things like bump stocks and high-capacity magazines. Right, I want to bring in the, the chairman on this as well, too. You've been very vocal about your stance on um, gun rights and the Second Amendment in this country. When the NRA comes out and says this, does this get your attention? What is your position on this right now? Well, I think that uh, we're looking at the wrong thing. I think the, at the end of the day, uh, you can bump fire without a bump stock. Uh, it's notoriously inaccurate, which is why people don't use it. We, you know, we don't have the full report. We don't know whether for sure this is the weapon, that he, the uh, device that he used in order to kill all those people. Um, but I think just this idea that you're going to ban bump stocks and you're going to end uh, You're saying we don't know for country. sure if he used the bump stock? We don't even know that. We don't even, the final report is not out yet. We don't I, know. You, we did don't you see know the pictures? Sure. Did you see uh, we the don't, pictures? I have around? seen the photos. I am, look, you haven't seen the final report. I haven't seen the final report. Would you consider... We don't know what weapon was used to kill all these people. Uh, Corey, let's take a step back, though. Would you, uh, Democrats have called the use of a bump stock, whether or not it, I mean, I can't believe you're suggesting that we debate whether or not it was used here, but let's put that aside for a second. They're calling that an automatic weapon loophole. Would you at least agree that it does, in fact, make a semi-automatic weapon work as an automatic weapon it would? It does not. It does not. What it does is, is that it, that it allows somebody to basically to shoot a lot of ammunition very, very quickly, but not accurately. You can bump fire without a bump stock. So you don't your need differentiation a, is whether or not it's accurate, not how fast the, it shoots. The thing is that from that range, that, that, that he could not have killed that many people with a bump stock, just a, a simple bump stock. Uh, you can bump fire uh, without a bump stock. You don't need it. You can use it with your belt loop. Uh, and, and your finger. It, it does not take much to, 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 to do this. You know, you're, you're right about what you said in that we do not know a lot about this story, but we do know 59 people are dead. Right. So let's start there. What can you offer as somebody from the gun right side of this to stop these mass killings? What can be done? Well, I, what I can tell you is this, is that every time there's a shooting in this country, the left uses it as an opportunity to take uh, firearms away from law-abiding citizens. But, but that right. is not the answer. It never has been the answer. Well, of what can the right do? What can the right do? What can the right is, do to stop these killers? There is nothing 
that you can do to prevent this through the, the by by limiting uh, uh, firearms to law-abiding citizens. That's what I'm can telling I, you. When I, what, I'm, I'm outraged by that statement. Of I am course truly you are, outraged by that you're statement outraged because and you're trying to use. Oh, let us I'm sorry. I didn't to use interrupt this tragedy you. To limit I, the firearms. I, I, the, the, the I am. I am co-president really, of the Brady really, campaign. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. We want everybody to talk, but we don't want to talk over each other. So let her go. Thank you. Thank you. I'm outraged by that statement because I know, as an American, that background checks actually work and that they have presented, prevented shootings. I also know that, like every other American who watches the news, that this individual had bump stocks and high-capacity magazines in that hotel room. And why did he have them? He had them because he was shooting from a long range, and he wanted to spray as many bullets into 22,000 people as he could, and that is why he shot so many people. Wait, I, and I ask you this, though. There is a criticism that Corey Stewart did bring up that the Democrats do receive after tra tragedies about politicizing them too soon. So answer that. Is it the right time immediately after these tragedies, or does there need to be time? It was a right time a long time ago. It was a right time after Columbine. It was a right time after Newtown. It was a right time after Virginia Tech, and it's a right time now. If we had actually kept the ban on high-capacity magazines and we didn't have bump stocks, you know what? Maybe this man still would have shot people, but he wouldn't have shot so many. And I want to hearken back to something. I think here in America, we actually do have the right to live free, free to go to school, free to go to church, free to go to concerts without the fear of being shot. And in every single one of the circumstances that you mentioned, whether it's Columbine or Sandy Hook or whether it's Orlando, those were all gun-free zones. It's like a target zone. If, if you're a mass murderer, if you're a criminal, if you're a terrorist, where do you go? You don't go where people don't have, where people do have weapons. You go where they're, you know they're disarmed. You're, all you're cool. doing, uh, and all your organization is doing is taking firearms away from law-abiding citizens. So a bigger target for terrorists and criminals. Brady does not stand for, nor would we ever take guns away from law-abiding citizens. And I'm tired of hearing the stupid mantra that the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. I talked to people who were at uh, the events in Las Vegas. They had guns. You know what? They didn't use them because they were afraid that the law enforcement officers would mistake them for the bad guys. When you're born, you don't get a tattoo on your head that says bad guy versus good guy. We've got a very short a period of time for a very large conversation, and unfortunately, it's drawing to an end. Just real quickly, I, I didn't get a clear answer from you. Do you support the NRA's words this week on the bump stock? No, I do not. Okay. We're going to have to thank both uh, Corey Stewart, U.S. Senate candidate and uh, chairman of the Prince William Board of Supervisors, and uh, Chris Brown, co-president thank of the Brady you. campaign, for a spirited and uh, eye-opening. Uh, debate this morning on this issue of gun control. We thank you very much. Yes, we thank, thank you. you. Well, coming up on Fox 5's On the Hill, we're going to talk about tax reform.